Artists are influenced by cultures. How can they not be? Culture is part of our environment. We're surrounded by it. The challenge is to go beyond culture. Art is not created by cultures. It's created by individuals. As prisoners of our culture to a certain extent, we're bombarded with information from all sides. Much of this information is visual or sonic. Some of it isn't even information at all. It's just dross or garbage that disguises itself as real content. Always ask yourself, how far away from the source is this product? Whether it's music or a painting or a box of cereal from the supermarket, if you can't find the source in it, stay away. I was once at a poetry reading where a professor of poetry at a university read one of her poems. It was boring. It was all about her and nothing about me. Why would I want to listen to a poem about someone else? Then another poet got up to read a poem. She was not a university professor. Her poem was so beautiful. It was her experience but it was also about me and about everyone else too. Art has to have an element of universality to be effective. A piece of art is a marker of time, of the zeitgeist, but it is not bound by time. True art transcends time. Certain music, paintings, Literature from centuries past still attract us. Why? Art is a force, like electromagnetism. It's a force greater than us. We can learn to harness that force. Search in the spaces between the obvious. Add value to the universe. Drink from the source. It's the only thing that will always be there for you. People who don't meditate Imagine that it's some sort of blissful state where you zone out for a while. And it can be that sometimes, but it's also a process of slowing down the repetitive chatter of your mind so you can have a chance to arrive at the blissful state once in a while. And that process is often quite uncomfortable. It is, however, just as much a part of meditation as the blissful part. The important thing is not to get attached to any of the states because they're all just temporary experiences and perceptions that are part of the veil of illusion. In Tai Chi Chuan, we use something called rooting energy. It means that you put your energy below the ground. You connect to something larger than yourself so you can be stronger. We all have access to the same source, but each person can only access a tiny bit of that source because it's so vast. Think of it like your favorite little fishing hole. You know the right bait to use and when to go there. That's the access point for you. But when you tell someone else about it, they don't catch anything. 
they have to find their own access point. Inspiration. Breathing in. It's no accident, it's the same word. Breathing is the only direct exchange we have with the universe. Everything else is a sense perception. Perceptions are not direct exchanges. They go through the filters of your personal physiology, emotional states, and life experiences. Sages tell us that everything is one, but part of the human condition is separating the one into two. Good versus evil, black versus white, male versus female, etc. There's an anecdote about Charlie Parker where he says he finally realized that all the chords were one giant chord. If you think of music that way, you're pretty much unlimited. You can play anything you want. The trick is pulling it off. And to pull it off, you have to be bold. But sometimes you can be bold by accident. Like my auntie used to say, even a stopped clock is right twice a day. When I was 12, a red-haired kid in my class said to me, girls don't play the saxophone. And I thought, well, I'm a girl and I play the saxophone, so obviously that's not true. The older I get, the more I realize what a challenge it is to be yourself. I think we all struggle with this to some degree. Because no matter how old you are, there always seems to be the equivalent of a kid in your class telling you that you can't do something. I keep reminding myself that voice is outside of me. I don't need to internalize it. As Oscar Wilde said, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. <laughs> When a cloud steals the sun away So this is how it tastes To swallow your own tears And now I know the scent That follows every rotten deal the feel of the blues. Does anybody mind if I 